Introduction to Neural Networks with Java, Class 15, Part 2. Welcome to Part 2. In this part, we're going to look at how you may want to continue your learning of neural networks beyond this course. We have made available the NCOG Artificial Intelligence Framework. This is an open source framework released under the LGPL, or Limited GNU Public License. This means the source code is completely open, it's free to use, and it can be used in commercial applications. There are two sides to the NCOG framework. There's a Java and a C Sharp implementation of them. The APIs are kept very similar between the two languages, though they are adapted so that each language has its own unique features. For example, properties are used in C Sharp instead of getters in Java. We also use C Sharp indexing whenever possible. The NCOG framework was built upon the classes introduced in the book covered by this course. However, NCOG 2.0 took the classes considerably further than what the book originally implemented them for to allow many more types of neural networks to be included, some of which we discussed in the previous part for this class session. This allows NCOG to handle recurrent neural networks, types of Boltzmann machines, and other types of training that was not handled in the original implementation of NCOG. It also makes it more open so that additional neural network types can be created simply by linking together the more primitive components that are provided by the NCOG library. We're going to take a look at NCOG now. The NCOG Artificial Intelligence Framework is available for both Java and C Sharp. There are two major components to the NCOG Artificial Intelligence Framework. First, there's the core engine. This is available as a Java JAR or a C-sharp DLL. It can be used in any .NET framework language. There's also a GUI editor that allows you to visualize neural network files created by any version of NCOG. Summarized here are the major features of the NCOG engine. The NCOG engine supports neural networks, genetic programming, both for neural networks as well as for other general problems that you may wish to apply a genetic algorithm to. It also contains an extensive spider and bot package library that lets you browse websites and extract information from those websites that can often be used in conjunction with the neural network side of NCOG to attempt to harvest knowledge and information from sites that contain the information that you're looking for. NCOG also is beginning to add natural language processing features. These features allow you to give NCOG regular text and NCOG will read the sentences and extract knowledge and information from these sentences. The natural language processing portions of NCOG is a very new feature that we are we've just recently added and much more will need to be added in future versions of NCOG. It also includes a extensive lexicon project that we are also doing in conjunction with the natural language processing sides of NCOG where we are gathering lexical information on words that allow NCOG to process and parse the English language. Currently NCOG is only made available for natural language processing within the English language. Further, NCOG only works with printed text. We currently are not working on any capacity to read in WAV files or understand spoken text. That's a whole separate project. But for now, it is, begin it is a beginning process project that we are working on. Now we'll take a look at the GUI for NCOG. Here you can see a NCOG file. NCOG stores its data in .eg files and here you see the contents of a simple EG file. This contains a neural network as well as training data. These files are all based on XML and they are compatible between both NCOG for Java as well as NCOG for the .NET programming languages. Here you see a, the training set being opened. 
NCOG allows you to store training set data inside of the EG files. NCOG can also read training data from CSV files, SQL, and other data sources as well. However, if you want to aggregate your data sets together with your neural networks that you've created, you can store them all together in EG files. Here you see a neural network being edited by NCOG. It contains three layers here. There is a feed-forward layer. There are all three feed-forward layers. There's an input layer, an output layer, and a hidden layer. This is a relatively simple neural network. It contains two input neurons, one output neuron, and a single hidden layer that has three neurons. You can also see information about the matrix as well as other information pertaining to these individual layers. You can also visualize a neural network. Here you can see the same neural network visualized. This neural network has been trained for the XOR operator. You can see the two input neurons, the three hidden layer neurons, as well as the one output. The threshold values are displayed for those neurons that actually have threshold values, as well as you get a graphical representation of the weights. Red is a fairly high weight, blue is a low weight, and purple in between. You can train the neural network in a variety of ways using the NCOG framework and the GUI editor. Here we see the GUI editor about to train a neural network with backpropagation. You specify the backpropagation parameters that it needs, such as the maximum error you're willing to tolerate, momentum, learning rate, and you also specify what neural network you want to train as well as what training set you want to use. Once training begins, you will be given a graphical display that shows you the progress of the training. You can see the current error level, how the error level is trailing off, as well as the efficiency of the training. If the training efficiency, or the error improvement, as it's called here, is not particularly high, you probably need to adjust the training parameters for the backpropagation or other similar net network training method. This is the NCOG GUI editor. This concludes part two. In class 16, we are going to review the final exam. The final exam is due by class 16. You can find more information about the final exam, which is assigned with this class session, on the class webpage for class session 15. We hope you will continue with class session 16. Thank you. This course is based on our Introduction to Neural Network Programming books for Java, and also Introduction to Neural Networks for C-Sharp. Available in both paperback and ebook format.